nailed it. Probably. We'll see when we get it back to editing. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike Sasser, boudoir photographer in Los Angeles, California. Today's gonna be a super fun, short shooting video. It's too many S's, I should have wrote something different down. Today's tip is going to be about uh, something that you can add onto your shoots, something super cheap, something super fun. <laughs> this tree's really close. Uh, something super fun that you can uh, throw on if your client leaves, you know, doesn't bring enough good outfits or you just wanna add something a little special to the shoot. And that tip is body jewelry. So actually, hold on a sec. So here we go, something like this. We got a couple others that we're gonna play around with today and we'll, uh, we'll see what we get. Annie, thanks for coming back. You might remember Annie from one of the previous videos that we did together. How's it going today? Hey guys, Michael, thank you for having me back. You're so welcome. Today we are going to be, like I said, shooting some of these body jewelry pieces. So this is the first one that we're gonna start with. You ready to go? All right, let's do it. So much pressure, this is why I'm not an actor. I feel pretty good about it though. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed that little shooting section. Next, what we're gonna do is go over uh, some editing. So the thing that I'm doing now at the end of each photo shoot is walking you guys through a little bit of how I'm doing my editing. So as of today, my brand new presets are now available for sale. If you guys have been waiting for these, you can now pick them up, link in the description. I'm super excited, uh, but this is what we're going to be using to do all of our edits today. That's what all of the images that you saw in the, in the video were edited with. So without further ado, let me show you how I would edit these photos. So let's first scroll through some different options here on what we can do with these different presets. Okay, honestly, uh, skin is, I think, going to be the one that I like the most. I'm just gonna bring up the shadows a little bit, and I might say that it's a little warm. There we go. Uh, so that's how I would edit this image, just a little bit of a white balance adjustment, bringing up the shadows because she's quite dark on this side of her face. Let's go over to the next one here. Uh, let's do the same, let's uh, skin. I mean, honestly, that's pretty perfect. I would just leave it at that. Let's keep going, we'll do, uh, so this is before, this is skin. Let's go ahead and bring down the presets a little bit to maybe, to maybe about there, minus five. I shot that one a little bit bright. Uh, so this is basically, um, I mean, I know it's not that much to show you in editing. That's one of the things that I worked really hard with getting my presets is just to dial them in perfectly. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, so this one's actually really dark, so let's do this. We'll do skin. I use the up and down arrow keys, up, up, up. And this is what allows uh, it to be really, really quick when you're going through and making your adjustments. Now let's say uh, it's a little bit dark. I could bring up the shadows a little bit. That's pretty good. And then if you tap the R key, R, you can spin it uh, just like this. R is for the crop. So if you don't know, you could just click the crop here but R will go ahead and do that for you. So that's how you're gonna get these super, super straight lines. Let's keep going. Uh, this one, I got my exposure correct, so we're just gonna tap skin, that's perfect. Let's keep going. It's another one, skin, beautiful. It's too bright, so let's bring this guy down. That's perfect. Um, I might, uh, that's kinda cool. Whoa, that's sweet. <laughs> 
Um, actually, Crush, I think I, I might even like better on this one. I think I edited this one with skin, but we're gonna leave it with Crush, the Crush Fire. Crush Warm is what I'm calling it. Okay, let's go back here. Perfect, tap R uh, is gonna bring you up the, the crop there. We're gonna keep going just like this. We're gonna tap R, we're gonna straighten this guy out. And then we're gonna tap skin again. Yep, that's perfect. Let's see what Crush does though. Yeah, see Crush is a little too intense in this situation. <laughs> Love that preset though. All right, let's just finish these guys out and then we'll do a quick little skin smoothing uh, the same way that I did it before. So we'll throw this guy on. Again, it's a little bit too bright. Let's bring this guy down a little bit. Perfect, I love it. So if you guys didn't see my skin smoothing video, basically this is how it works. We're gonna grab a gradient. We're gonna pull the texture down on it and we're gonna have it cover the whole image, the entirety of the image. So you can see like everything's everything's super smooth. Her hair, her the background, her, the, the links, pretty much everything. Okay, how we're gonna make it a uh, mask to where it only does her skin is we're gonna click on this range mask. We're gonna select color. We're gonna select this and choose a point on her skin or what we can do is drag a section. Perfect, okay, so let's bring this down a little bit so it's not so obnoxious. I'm okay with that. That's a little bit more than I would do. So let's do 40 and then we're just gonna shift, click on all of them, say sync, check none, except for that is the graduated filter. So we're gonna select the graduated filter there synchronize and then each and every one of these are gonna have the same skin smoothing on it. Command over. Whoop. So here we go, here's the graduated filter, graduated filter on all of them and the skin is super smooth and everything. Boom. And there it is, you guys. That's a quick edit of how I would go through and edit all of those pictures. Real simple. Get yourself a good preset. Mine are now available for sale in the uh, in the description there, which I'm super excited about. Dial in your exposures. Uh, in this case, her skin was really bright in all of them, so we didn't need to brighten up her face. Uh, definitely made things really, really easy. So big thanks to Annie for coming out and doing that video with us. And a big thanks to you guys for watching. So, so if you have any questions, any more ideas for shoots, uh, definitely let me know. Throw me a like button. Come follow me on Instagram and hang out for a while. Um, I'm gonna be doing some Instagram lives coming up in the next little bit. So if you have questions, that's a good place to ask them. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up and I will see you the next video.